just me and my guitar Welcome to Mythbusters Virtual Reality. Reality, reality. This is Adam, and no, however much you turn around, you won't see me because I'm not here. I'm just doing the narration. But the narration of what? Well, for Shark Week 2015, we tested the myth that sharks are scared of orca noises, killer whales, and we conducted that experiment on a shipwreck. This video is a behind the scenes tour of that wreck in full 360 degrees. So as we descend, you can already see the reason why we came to this wreck in the first place. There's loads of sharks. If you look all the way around you, you're surrounded by, I reckon, what, 25 sharks? These are nearly all Caribbean reef sharks. With the odd nurse shark thrown in, they're pretty hard to see. Now, I have to admit, I do get a little nervous before getting in the water with these guys, particularly when you're on the surface of the boat, looking down into the water looks pretty scary, but once you're in the water, what you see is that sharks are beautiful, graceful creatures. It's a real privilege to be able to dive with them. But back to the wreck. This wreck that we're over now isn't the wreck that we filmed it. To be honest, I don't know what this wreck is, and it's so dilapidated it's actually hard to see what it might have once been. So enough already on that. The wreck we filmed in is the one just coming into view in the distance. Yep, here it comes now. Behind that diver who happens to be our executive producer, checking the place out prior to our experiments. You can see that, somewhat predictably, the wreck is guarded by a bunch of sharks. Actually, not a bunch, a shiver. I think that is the collective noun for sharks. A shiver of sharks. I like that. It's better than a mouthful, or a gulp, or a tooth. No, shiver's definitely the best. So now we're swimming directly above the wreck, heading towards the stern. This particular boat was called the Ray of Hope. It's a pretty terrible name for a boat that became a wreck, lying on its side at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, cool, look, if you look straight ahead, you can see a large wrasse heading into that tunnel. Beautiful. But anyway, back to the story. This ship didn't have some kind of accident. No, it was sunk here deliberately to become an artificial reef. And over the last two decades, it has become colonized by all kinds. You can see stag coral, sponges, sea fans. A huge amount of life has taken hold on this wreck. Now, because this is only 40 feet deep, it gets a lot of light, so it's a great place for coral to colonize. And it's because of this colonization, this diversity, that means an entire ecosystem complete with complex food chains and food webs can exist. And ultimately, what that means is that there are sharks. Lots of them. A shiver of them. Although, of course, at the moment I say that, I realize there's not any sharks to see at this point of the boat. <sighs> Murphy's Law. We did this dive the day before our experiment as a kind of a recce, a reconnaissance mission, to get familiar with it and figure out how our experiment was going to go down. But to see how the experiment itself worked, if you dare, you need to check out our other virtual reality videos.